everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a look inside our brand new Spy Academy, which is the top secret world of espionage. I know I probably say this about every unit study, but to date, this one might be one of my favorites. So, in true Waldock Way fashion, we have our Spy Academy resources. So, all of these are clickable links. And we have books, games, videos, and hands-on activities that would all make a great addition, but they're not required. Then we have some lesson plans. Now these are just a sample because I really pride myself on making sure that all of our studies are flexible so that they fit any and every homeschool. But the gist of Spy Academy is that it's going to be kind of a five day week, if you will, not that you have to do it in five days a week, but you're gonna basically rotate through spy training, some sort of history of spy, spy science, a famous spy, and then cryptology. And that's kind of gonna repeat each of the five days in a cycle. So the first spy training we have is code names. So it kind of explains like why we need code names and then a fun activity to create your own. Then you will create spy training ID badges once you've made your code name. Then we have our introduction to espionage. And I really wanted to make sure that you didn't need anything else. So some of these writings are more in-depth than usual. Then we have a quick QR code here where you can scan to watch a video. Then for fun and review, we have a word search and a crossword puzzle that goes along with that lesson. For our first spy science activity, we're going to be doing some invisible messages. And then here are four more ways to try your hands at invisible messages. We're going to learn more about becoming a spy. And there's another QR code there. Each of the writings also have discussion questions so that you can discuss for comprehension with your child. And then again, we have a word search and a crossword puzzle. Then for our First cryptology activity, we're going to be learning about pig pen. And that's, like I said, kind of like the rotation. It changes, but that's kind of how it works. So here's another spy training. We're going to map. Then we're going to get into the Revolutionary War. Now within Spy Academy, we are going to cover the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, World War I, World War II, and the Cold War, and spies from that time period, how the evolution of spies came to be during each of those wars. And then we're gonna focus on a different famous spy or a featured spy each week to kind of go along with that. So here we have the history of spies revolutionary war. Like I said, I wanted to make sure that we had plenty of information so that reading is about three pages with discussion questions. Then we're gonna review with a word search and a crossword puzzle. This week, our spy science is um, analyzing documents. Our featured spy is Nathan Hale. Again, we have a writing or a biography about him, some discussion questions, a custom coloring page, and then your kids are gonna do a biography of their own. Then for cryptology, we're gonna get into Morse code. Your kids get to try their hand at breaking these ciphers. And now we're back to spy training again. So now you kind of have an idea of what it's going to look like on every five day rotation. We have spy training for like radio chatter and different spy science with fingerprints and dusting for prints. Um, some more spy training back here is brain training, spotting the differences, finding hidden objects. Um, another spy science is shoe print experts. So we have some forensics and you're gonna create your own shoe print kind of catalog. Um, we have lots of different ciphers and code breaking for you. And then we are even going to try our hand at finding the suspects. and some DNA extraction. And some more code breaking. Then 
Now we know no Waldock Way study would be complete without some sort of game. There is a memory game included as well. Um, you do that as part of the brain training spy training activities. Then we also have spy bingo that you can play throughout the game. And then there's an additional enigma secrets that you will complete during your cryptology each of the six weeks. Um, but I'm not going to share that because I want it to be super fun for your kids to have not seen it. But it is a really, really fun week to week activity that they will have to complete.